Some Detroit firefighters and paramedics being credited with going above and beyond tonight, rescuing nearly 20 animals from a burning home. Jerron Terry is live with the efforts and more on a key device missing from most fire trucks. Jerron. Karen, we know that Detroit paramedics and firefighters, they do go be above and beyond when it comes to service. But don't try telling that to the crew that saved nearly 20 animals this morning in the house fire. To them, it's just part of the job. Many are begging to differ, and I'll let you decide. A call Tuesday morning sent firefighter Naomi Huff to jump into her gear. It's a house fire. By the time her crew from engine 57, along with engines 55 and 53, get to this house on Detroit's west side, they could easily see thick smoke pouring from the basement. Somebody approached and said that there were animals inside. I couldn't believe how many dogs were coming out. Paramedics and firefighters pulled this litter of pups and seven other dogs from the fire. In all, a total of 17 animals trapped. Some stopped breathing. It doesn't matter if it's uh, two-legged or four-legged life. Not the usual with uh, humans, but a life is a life. Images showed them working hard. And was just doing CPR, one in each hand. Even providing oxygen from their mask. You know, I kind of, I put it right by their mouth or their nose. And then you have one hand just pumping on their, on their rib cage and trying to hope for the best, you know. They did their best, saving all but two. There's a possibility the efforts could have been 100%, but the Detroit Fire Department is lacking one key animal saving device. We need pet masks, animal masks, and around five years ago, they were donated to us. The remaining bags aren't worth carrying. There's a leash and some paperwork. But this crew is proud of their efforts and pray next time they can save them all. You gotta do what you gotta do. Great job, no doubt, by the fire and uh, paramedics here in Detroit. Now, the sergeant, fire sergeant telling me tonight that they really would need or could use those new animal masks. They're hoping maybe someone will have a heart and donate them. This story proves that they are needed. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. I have a feeling after seeing this story tonight, those donations this are going to come in. This will get that started, won't it? Uh, yeah. Adorable. Yeah, a lot of commitment, obviously, on the part of the paramedics and firefighters. Thanks. All right.